This video tries to show you what it was like to spend two months working and living at a commercial salmon fishing buying station in Alaska. We were there for two months um, with a very small crew. There were six full-timers that we all lived and worked together. Um, going through this, the old video clips and photos, I kind of almost got a little nostalgic. It was an incredibly special experience. Um, and so this uh, hopefully gives you a little insight as to what kind of work we did. over there. Um, these spots all along the dorsal ridge, that's only going to be on a king. This tail, this tail looks like a combination between decided to take the skiff out for a little joyride. I mean, a practice skiff operating ride slash slalom lesson. So the boats pull under a specific slot in the dock. There's straps that go underneath the boat. And so the machinery on top is able to hydraulically lift the boat out of the water and take it onto land. So the boats pull up to the dock below and tie off. Then that crane drops down a pelican hook. They hook the pelican hook up to the bag of fish, lift the bag up, put the bag over, drop it in the de-icer. The person in the de-icer is able to sort out the fish from the ice and put the fish in that tote over there. Then that rotator forklift, it picks it up and takes that tote down this ramp all the way down to where that scale is off to the right, put it on the scale back out. I take the fish weight, then they pick the tote back up and dump it into that hopper and then it goes out onto the conveyors below where the fish can be sorted by specific species of salmon. Reweighed and then put into the truck to the processor. So tomorrow commercial fishing is open for the drift net fishing. So right now we are loading these boats with ice. So we lower these bags, these brailler bags of ice down on the crane and they're able to put them into their fish holding tanks and that way when they catch fish all day tomorrow the fish stay on ice and they deliver a fresher product first boat coming in oh yeah the green boat yep. so the boats pull up to our dock whichever crane is open tie off to the dock open their hatches and hook the pelican hook up to the brailler bag so we can lift the fish out of their holding tanks. I gotta get back to my scale house now. Fish are on their way. So here's that hopper that the fish get dumped into so that they can be sorted. Here's the folks sorting the fish into species. And that is the big truck that they get loaded on to go to the processing plant. And on our non-fishing days, we found some time to smoke and can some salmon.
Brian and the other skiff operator are responsible for running the commercial fishermen between shore and the buoy where their boats are tied up. Here's the preseason parking lot, but we'll check back later when we're in the full swing of things. We decided to take a team skiff ride upriver to the Dip Netter Beach. This is where Alaska state residents um, can fish by dip net. They actually go into the water, some in waders and some not in waders. <laughs> this is a tender boat. It's actually able to unload commercial fishing vessels out at sea. So it's so neat. If you look at all these boats right now, they're all facing downriver. But when the tide shifts, they'll slowly start to swing around and face upriver by the time the tide is completely flip-flopped. All right, it's fishing day. So as you can see, all the buoys have cleared out. Everybody's out fishing. dump some ice into the river. There's actually always a lot of little things that need to be done. Fishing nets need to be loaded into fishermen's trucks. The skiff driver needs to take fishermen to and from their buoys. Nets need to be taken and lowered down and crane into the boats. We need to prep totes with ice for the fish. It's kind of a lot of little things all day long. This fisherman is swapping out his net for a new one. The seals ate holes in his old one, so he's working on doing that. He actually fishes alone, which I don't know how he does it all by himself. This is cold by ammonia. The whole drum is, right? So what it does is sprays water. You see these sprayers? Yeah. It sprays water. It's diluted with some salt. So it runs. The salt allows it to freeze at a lower temperature. So then it runs all the way down the drum. Okay? And then oh, here's I can a see it. So it just scrapes the... It comes along. There's the ice. Scrapes it and it drops right into the bin. That is cool. It makes about... Wow. These totes are full of fish when they get delivered to this buying station. They come in in the back of pickup trucks. These tractors pull the nets up, and this little skiff-like boat is what sets the net. So these tidal swings on this river are crazy. This is actually at high tide, so you can see that the walking platform is pretty much completely level all the way to the stairs. 
And then here it is at low tide. See that ramp, how steep it gets. Here's that same parking lot from earlier. And here's one of our fishing boats being towed by another one of our fishing boats. Breakdowns actually happen somewhat regularly out on the water, but she's got fish. And it's so great to see how they just help each other out. We on land are not immune to snafus either. I didn't want to see anybody have breakdowns, but at the same time, it was very fun to watch. Be able to bring these boats in so gracefully, even towing. That second boat is has no power and it still gracefully slides right into our dock. Current really rips around here. It's part of our dock out. So. And this is what it looks like on our docks where the fish get weighed and sorted. All right, here we go again, another fishing night. Here comes the boats. This is what we do all night long, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, unloading boats all night long. Let's see if you can keep up. <laughs> Just like that, we're unloading the last boat of the season at the dock. And the last boat of the season, they let me ride along with them to go back to their boot. It was so fun being on a commercial fishing boat and just cruising down the river. What a spectacular night to be out on this river. Oh, it's perfect tonight. So my job was to keep track of all the fish that were caught by species by boat by night. So here's my stack of fish tickets. This information is how the fishermen get paid as well as how Alaska Fish and Game keep track of all the fish that are being caught. time today we're pulling the docks out so we had to reset up my forklift so take a look so I have these extensions on it and that is super long because the dock can't survive winter in the river we actually have to disassemble the whole entire dock and bring it up onto shore before we pack up for the season. So that's what we're doing here. We're breaking apart all the pieces, lifting it up by the cranes, and then taking the forklifts to go put it over in storage at our site. And there it is, all loaded onto the shore.